It has to be, has to be, hands down, one of the worst comic book movies I've ever seen. I don't want to exaggerate. I don't want to, you know, be too crazy. So, but I've been trying to think about this and I tried to think about this before I did this video. Black Adam, in recent memory, let's just be fair here. Black Adam, in recent memory, is one, of, is one of the worst films I've ever seen in my life. Just in recent memory. And I'm just trying to think because, I'm just trying to think of the really bad films. And even the really bad films I've seen had some sort of a story. Um, the Last Jedi, horrible film. There was still a story, and they at least attempted to make a story, but it was just crap. Okay, let's keep it with comic book films. Man of Steel. Crap. There was still a story. But I, I, it was you only had like 15 minutes of a story. Batman v Superman. Garbage crap. You still try to tell somewhat of a story. Somewhat. And they were trying to be some, some, some scenes. And there were some plots. Black Adam. Because <laughs> as I was watching, I was going to say, wait, wait, wait a minute. Is there a story here? Is there a narrative here? Because, you see, my thing is, I look at The Rock, and I need you people to help me, because I kept hearing Black Adam and Shazam, but I don't really know. But correct me if I'm wrong, say in the comments below, so Black Adam is supposed to be the villain, and it's supposed to be Shazam's villain. And I think what I was reading was, he was supposed to show up in Shazam's film as a cameo, because that is who Shazam was supposed to fight. And you know what is so funny? And here's the thing, it's just so funny how life works. The Rock is a crap actor. All because you have amazing charisma as a wrestler doesn't mean that you're a quality actor. The Rock is a crap actor. He's he's bad, but he's got amazing charisma. If The Rock was smart and not such an arrogant dude, and it's crazy me seeing this when I am one of the biggest Rock fans ever, I have his freaking autobiography. I'm a massive Rock fan, so I want to see him succeed. But at the end of the day, when you love someone, you have to be real with them. He's, he's, he's arrogant. He's, and he's self-centered. And because he's so arrogant, he feels that he needs to always be a good guy. He needs to always win. And he can be this stoic, proper actor. If The Rock was smart, you would realize that Black Adam is the role you should do. And you're supposed to be the villain. And The Rock would actually, The Rock as Black Adam would make an amazing villain next to what Zachary Levi is doing for Shazam. Because if The Rock now brings in his own charisma, how he delivers the lines and just his own um, larger than life character into it and make it an interesting villain that has wise cracks and is sort of an antithesis to what Zachary Leva is doing, you'd actually have a really amazing dynamic. <laughs> but this extremely arrogant dude has made Black Adam like a hero stroke. And he, that's not an anti hero. You're trying to make him a hero because The Rock feels like he's got always, always going to be a good guy and the main guy. Bro, it doesn't work. Either you be a villain, because here's the thing. We are just being introduced into Black Adam. He needs to first be a villain before he now becomes an anti-hero. So he needs to first be introduced as the villain to Sh Sh Shazam. And let's be real. Shazam did, did well. It was quality. So he's supposed to be his villain. But this arrogant dude, in the first film, you're now trying to now step to Superman. No, you're not involved with Superman. Superman deals with Lex Luthor. He deals with the Doomsday. He deals with um, Darkseid and so forth. You're not involved with him. You are involved with freaking Shazam, but you feel you're too big for Shazam. But what makes it so funny, Rock, is I watched the Shazam film. It was good. Like, I found it funny. It was entertaining. Zachary Lipa was great in the role. I was like, bro, that's actually one of the better superhero movies. I liked Shazam. Shazam was good. Black Adam is a piece of crap. This film was garbage. I, as I was watching it, I was like, I cannot believe if, I cannot film, if believe a film like this was released in 2022. Because you know what, what this is? It's treating the audience like Dumbos. It is the most generic storyline, story the most generic lines, the most generic plots. I'm like, this is this was this was a film that should have come out in the 90s or the early 2000s when comic book movies were trying to find their way. Post Batman Begins, post Iron Man, post TDK, post Captain America, post Winsaw Soldier. You can't be bringing out this trash. You can't be bringing out this trash in a post. Batman Begins, TDK, First Avenger, Winter Soldier, Civil War, 
world, you can't be doing this. I mean, film was, I mean, it is, it's, a, it's an embarrassment. The film is embarrassing. It is embarrassing how generic, plain, and just bad this is. I'm like, it's, it feels, it's treating its audience like stupid idiots. Treating its audience like stupid idiots. Just terrible. Absolutely terrible. And for me, if I'm James Gunn, get, get rid of this trash. This is garbage. I can't walk with this. <laughs> you can't walk with this. You see, for me, I hope that keep the only thing from this whole DCEU like that I would keep is Shazam. That's it. The only thing I would keep is Sh Sh Shazam is the only one. I mean, apart from that, Batman, Wonder Woman, this Black Adam, kill it. The only good thing, because I think Shazam, that's, that's been good. Now, let's see what The Flash does. Because The Flash could be interesting, because that has your boy Michael. Where's my boy? That it? That's your boy Michael Keaton. Is it? Your, your 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 boy has your boy. Wait a minute. Yeah, has your boy right there. Kidding. So let's see what happens with that. But bro, <laughs> please, if you've seen Black Adam, please tell me your thoughts, man. Because I cannot believe how garbage it is. Gen it's one of the worst ones I've seen. For me, it has to be has to be hands down one of the worst comic book movies I've ever seen. Terrible, 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 terrible film. 